Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Goeie naan, mense van die Kaapse vlakte. Ons moet eigenlijk sê Cape Verde International. Hoop het gaan goed saam met julle. Um, I'm just going to do the news firstly. I've got a very special guest. Hy kom al aan van die tijd af en al kom hy sê met ons aan al. So he came to visit us tonight and we're going to speak to him um, and we can ask him questions. But we're going to want to deep a bit into something different. So I want to talk about the week that was. Um, the Vredenburg Magistrate Court on Monday heard that Jocelyn's mother was the mastermind behind the daughter's disappearance. So the, the, the story is now busy developing. And, and she said, um, I remember in a few videos, that they must ask Buddha. So, so she's uh, starting to like talk, it, uh, um, it seems. And then we have Mitchell. I don't know if you guys read the story, uh, heard about the story last week of this boy from Stalin Bos. Uh, Mitchell, 19, was robbed and stabbed to death while riding his bicycle to his residence on his birthday, on his birthday. I don't care if it's a black boy, a colored boy, Indian boy, a young man lost his life in a country where we are supposed to be safe, in a city where we are supposed to be safe. And then I don't want to stay with the heart, with the heart so news. I want to just congratulate a few people. Joy Willenberg from Strandfontein, yes, Strandfontein, the first woman to win a discipline in artistic pool at the 2024 WPA, World Artistic Black Bull, Pool Championship, well done. There's quite a few people that win. I just spoke to our guest now and I said, we have so much youngsters playing snooker pool overseas, international, doing well. But the question is, why isn't there any funds for them? Why are they struggling? Some of them can't go because there's no money. Maybe we can, I guess, maybe talk about that and mention names. <laughs> we will talk about it more. And then I just want to say, this story got to my heart also. Idafil High School has received praise after implementing an inspiring initiative to support matriculants um, during the most crucial examination period. Starting today, the school has reintroduced its popular breakfast initiative, receiving praises from the Western Cape Education Department. And that's for me, you know, some of our children go to school hungry. It's not easy for many of our children on the Cape Fred. Some go, go to school hungry. They didn't eat last night. They didn't have something to eat today as well. So just going to school, knowing there's something to eat, and now you can write your exam. So I want to say thank you to the teachers, even those that's doing it quietness. I mean, in the quietness. Thank you so much. And then, Lastly, but not least, Mitchell's plane power lifter, funny plane, brings home gold for SA. Harun Peterson backs gold at the Commonwealth Power Lifting Championships. Well done, Harun, and to everybody. There was quite a few people that messaged me and said, you know, we also went, my daughter-in-law also went. So well done to everybody. We have so much talent on the Cape Flats. But niemand wil vir geld gee Maybe the member of parliament can maybe answer the question. So what any further ado, I've got a young man in the studio. Very young. He used to come here with a grey t-shirt, a blue t-shirt, whatever t-shirt. Not blue. Now you would come. Now he's coming in a in a suit. In the middle of the Honorable Father Adams. Welcome the Honorable Father Adams into Cape Flat Story Studios Live. Welcome, Fadio. Hi, thank you, Stan. Hi, everybody. I expected a, I expected a drum roll. The drum roll? You're being so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> How have you been? You've been busy. People say always you're quiet, but I know you've been busy. How was the last 100 days for you? That's a lot of people who say it's a lot of people. That's why I don't still have to do it. Is that right? 100%. 100%. No, I, I've been quiet because we're, we're working in the background. You know, okay. and not everything is for social media. Yeah, yeah. Um, and things are going to start falling into place for mm. some people and falling apart for others. Um, yeah. You know, there's police vans going to pull up at the civic center. <laughs> Um, uh, people are going to jail, uh, police generals are going to be fired. Uh, mm. You know, it's big. It's like, look, you know what? I, yeah. I don't go quiet because I want to go quiet. Yeah. You know me, Stan. I'm, yeah. I'm not the quiet type. Yeah. But there's certain things that's just best left unsaid. Mm -mm. So, yeah. For 100 days, it's been an eye opener. It has been an eye opener. It's been a disappointment. Mm. Um, I've come to realize that parliament doesn't work. Mm -mm. Parliament doesn't work for South Africa, doesn't work for the people. Parliament mm. serves 400 people. Yeah. 400 spoiled MPs. Um, if you want five star lunch, become an MP. Mm -hmm. If you want to fly in style, mm -hmm. become an MP. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want a medical aid that will probably put um, cold sleepers or Krugers in, if you <laughs> ask them to become an MP. Yeah. That's that's who Parliament serves. It is so slow mm -hmm. that the state of the country actually starts making sense, mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what we're fighting. We're fighting to speed things up. We are fighting 
a parliament to be less friendly towards members of parliament and mm. more friendly to the people that put us there. Mm-mm. That's that, that that's my that that's my hundred days in a nutshell. You like a little bit of a breathing, but 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 before we go further, you know, what's keen for you as a politician? So if the effort is built against them, and I want to before we go into politics, I want to know more about you, Fido Adams. Why is he born? Why not he born? Okay, so you don't know why. You want to know the age? Age old. No, the old time, but it's a good one. June 14, 1976. Okay, so it's three hours away. Maar dat is lekker zelf ook. Thank you, thank you for the compliment, Fadil. But tell me quickly, where, where, where were you born and, and how was life for you before you became Father Adams? Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me see how honest my parents was. I believe I was born in Lotus River um, uh, Day Hospital. Okay. Um, I opened my eyes in 7945 Lavendale Steenberg Retreat. Okay. Uh, my father's, my paternal line uh, was the people who were evicted from Constantia. Mm-hmm. My mother then were evicted from Deep River. Mm. Uh, we ended up in this lovely place called Lavendale. Mm. I've never smelled lavender in Lavendale, but <laughs> that's not the point. Mm. Uh, my family was torn apart, but it would be exact. Um, mm. Some of us were dumped in Manenberg, some in Lavendale, some in Lotus River. Mm. And I've got tons of family that I don't know. Mm. Um, First cousins of my mother who live in Manenberg, mm. um, in Parkwood, in mm. Hanover Park. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's actually a sad story. Mm. Uh, come, I give you five minutes of useless information. <laughs> Jonathan Butler, yeah. Rashid and Rashad Stachy mm. lived in the same house as my mother then, wow. in Deep River. Wow. Yeah. I actually knew there was there was there was, there was, there was a documentary about Rashid and his brothers when they lived in in um, where they were living in um, Deep River. So they were living in the same house. Yeah. Wow. Um, With their family. Everybody was family. Okay. Um, Rashid and Rashad Stachy are, uh, my mother is actually first cousins with their mother. Okay. So okay. they would be like a clan or something. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I take this mother home with me? Excuse me. I make you look pretty. Mara Mara no. Who's the beautiful of them all? Me. That's me. <laughs> so, so growing up, you were supposed to be a statistic where you fall into crime, gangsterism, all those things. How was that that journey for you? Um, did you did did you go to university afterwards? Like you know, like the children living in the elite areas, where they could go uh, to university. Can I tell you something? You, you know Jerome Swartz from Ara. Yes, yes, I know. Doc. South African school chess champion. Really? Three degrees. Wow. Incredibly smart man. Mm-hmm. If he's going to be honest, mm-hmm. he'll tell you I'm twice as smart as him. <laughs> we were at the same you school. Mm-hmm. He'll tell you I was twice mm-hmm. as smart, and I was. Twice as smart as him, and I wasn't even trying. Yeah, I was a brilliant lighting man. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Brilliance in Lavendale doesn't mean much. Mm-hmm. The pitfalls are there. They're there. Yeah. And only a small percentage of us make it up. Mm-hmm. I was never gonna make it up. Mm-hmm. I'm too naughty. You know, I'm attracted. You know, I, I run to the flames. You know, that's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, despite the potential I could have shown at school, without even trying, mm-hmm. I ended up where I was supposed to end up. Yeah. Um, systemically mm. and look I'm not going to blame the system for my decisions mm. you know my stupid decisions there's a lot of lots of stupid decisions but the system put the steps in place and many many good young ladies fell into those traps most of them don't survive mm. most of them still follow the prison system mm. I'm here because I was lucky not because I was good or anything It's just I was lucky mm. I mean my, my mother's 80 81 years old uh, mm. soon Well, ask my mother. Between the ages of 13 and 18, mm-hmm. we won court every week. Okay. Ik en die man. Ik en die man. Nie my braas nie. Nie my gangster vriend nie. Ik en die man. Um, so I was supposed to go to prison. Mm. I stayed out somehow, mm. and yeah, the rest kind of fell into place as as as, as life went along. You've obviously, as you spoke about your gangster brothers, you've obviously seen how friends, people close to you died over the years because that is part of of the Cape Flats. You have friends. You you also mentioned about you and Doc being in um in one class, but I, I also heard something that you, Doc, and uh, Eddie Andrews were in one class. Eddie Andrews is the bit scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> That time, Eddie, and now as well. Yeah, yeah. Ach, he's probably... Past the skate part, now we grown men, you know. I'm not gonna chase him anymore. But Eddie Andrews is scary. But he's big ass and all. <laughs> sorry, I was a, I was a terrible light. I'm sorry, Eddie. 
But you know what? How many of us can say they chase the DPT my year round? I'm a member of parliament. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. But look at the story. Look at what has happened out of the the clumpy mesa. Father Adams can parliament to talk. It's a big secret. It is endless as DPT my year. Don't forget you on August. So on, so on, so on August as well. And the thing is this. It's people from color. I want to talk about our people, man. Yes, you guys are opposition parties and you'll have some of Macabre clay. But I think coming from that neighborhood, I think you guys know exactly what's happening. And still somehow you are fighting for Levendil. You're fighting for Manenberg. You know, I'm fighting for Levendil. I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. And I'll say it to their faces. Mm -hmm. Because these guys act like those pitfalls don't exist. Mm -hmm. They act like the staircases aren't crumbling. Mm -hmm. Um... They act like all as well, like the sports fields, like these facilities, like this opportunity. There's nothing like that. Yeah. So, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not enemies with him, mm. but I don't regard him as friends. Because nobody that is hiding the crap that's happening in the Mannenbergs, the Lavendils, the Parkers, and the Cryfontaines, mm. nobody that's hiding that yeah. is going to be a friend of mine. Mm. Nobody that is telling the world, oh, look how rosy it is over here under a white man's rule, mm. is ever going to be a friend of mine. You're not saying that these things are being hidden. Do you also think that, that media is playing a big part? Because I've seen over the last few months, our media has only attacked certain people. Let me tell you something about the media stand. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to jump to my... How many, uh, how many charges did Jacob, did Jacob Zuma face in, what was it, 2006, 2004? How many charges did he face? A lot. A lot 748. Yeah. Do you, have you ever read the charge sheet? Has anybody taken the time to read the charge sheet? Can I give you the charge sheet? He's charged with 20 rands fraud. <laughs> mm. 50 rands fraud. Yeah. 100 rands fraud. Mm. 15 rands fraud. Mm. 748 times. Maguro, who charges a sitting president mm. for 85 US dollars? I mean, 85 US cents. Mm. It's not even worth the ink you could buy to write down. It's a lot of crap. The media. Mm will demonize anybody who stands mm. up to the white establishment. Mm. Look at Steinhoff. How many people did they put out of their houses, out of their savings, out of their pensions? Mm. The okay. DA received mm. 70 million rand from Steinhoff. Mm. But the media doesn't cover it. And what did it do with that 70 million rand? That's the other question. The media printed that Fadil Adams in 2020 bought a cappuccino <laughs> and a coffee mm. with party funds. Mm. Now picture this. I'm on the road for 18 hours yeah. for the party. I'm using my own petrol, mm. my own car, mm. my own airtime. Mm. But I get hungry in yeah. Beaufort West. Yeah. There's nothing I love where I am. Mm. I buy a coffee and a muffin and I swipe the party card. Mm. A total of 42 rand 85 cents. Yeah. As in the news? I remember. Did I miss a scale? Yeah. But Marcus Jewister gives Alan Zilla and co 70 million rand of stolen money and the media covers it. It's worth mm. Only once and it's gone. Now, why don't we talk about it? Mm. The media controls your mind. Correct. That's why I don't watch TV. They're telling a different vision. 100%. Vision. It, it's, it's, the media will tell you that Europeans discovered South Africa. Mm. Like there weren't people here when they got you. Mm. They discovered us. Mm. That they brought civilization here. Yeah. That same media won't tell you that we didn't have prisons before they got here because we yes. weren't criminals. Yes. That same media won't tell you that the, the, the scourge of alcoholism on the Cape Flats and drugs, it was never a problem because we never, we never consumed alcohol until they gave it to us. Mm -hmm. That same media will not tell you that they say they brought civilization here, but they were wearing wolf skins mm -hmm. while we had libraries. Yeah. If I was allowed to say that the media mustn't talk cuck, I would. <laughs> say it, man. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's a child-friendly show. <laughs> it's a child-friendly show. But that's the thing, and that is what we've always believed. And that's why some of our parents thought it was better back then than what it is now, because the media was telling a different story. The media wasn't really telling the people what they want to hear. There was no Facebook like there is now. I think, I think social media is giving a lot of us the opportunity to also stand up and speak and to expose people. Look at what social media has done for the Palestinian cause. Mm -hmm. TikTok can't be controlled. Yeah. Now the world can see exactly who these Israelis are, exactly who these Zionists are, exactly what they think of human life. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing the type of protest that you haven't seen since Free Mandela. Yeah. That's the power of social mm -hmm. media.
You know, I, I, I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for social media yes. because the media doesn't tell our stories. Yeah. The media will not tell you yes. that we are handing out cannabis oil, hemp oil, mm. to treat people with, with, with serious, serious pain for free. Mm. Like two, three, four hundred vials a day. Yeah. Do you know what this thing costs? That's a lot of money. It's about 300 and a milliliter. Yes, yes, it's a lot of money. We are helping between two and 450 people daily mm. to relieve them of pain. The media not going to tell you that. No. But what the media will tell you. You bought the coffee. I bought the coffee <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> you see, the white man controls us all. Mm. Make no mistake about it. In 1994, the compromise was too great. Mm. The compromise to give us the right to vote and then for them to keep their stranglehold on the economy. I don't think it was worth it. I don't. I don't subscribe to the theory that Mandela sold us out. I, I, I genuinely don't. I believe he was an old man. I believe he was tired of the struggle. Yeah. I believe he wanted to go home and have his wife be with his grandchildren. Yeah. And I, I think he was entitled to it. Mm-hmm. Talking about that, you know, spoke about Nelson Mandela and freedom. Are we really free? Do we really have liberty? to say what you want to say, go where we want to go. I mean, some universities still don't accept our children. They made it so difficult for our children to get into certain universities because it's expensive. They made it so difficult for us to move into certain areas because it's expensive. They don't talk about us struggling to survive, you know, in South Africa. Do you think that they are using money and prices and things like that to govern our people? Economic exclusion is a real thing. Economic apartheid is a, fun, it's a fundamental wrong, and it's an everyday thing. Mm. It's why we support this, uh, this apartheid bill that's being tabled in Parliament very, very soon. Mm. Because there are still acts of apartheid that are perpetrated against people of color daily. You know, there's this TikToker property night. Yeah. He proclaims to be some type of liberal white, and he says, you yeah, know, he drops little bits of this and that and that. Yeah. You know, little bits of niceties. Oh, you people of color are sweet. Mm. Uh, mm. So now the other day when um, they removed Celia's Brink as mm-hmm. the mayor of Swanee, yeah. this oh, goes on TikTok. Swanee is now the most racist place in the country. Yeah. And I'm like, has this Brian ever heard of Aranya? Yeah. Or Brackman? Mm. Or Constantia? And I'm like, nah. Bro. You know, you find so many good white people, like mm. good white people, and then you find people like that. Yes. And that just hits my mind back three more years and it kicks in and says, ah, you means on the way to But ultimately they will. Yes. We all know that they will. We all know that they have to. You know, but Stan, it's an uphill battle, this bro. You must remember something. We are all victims of apartheid. Black, okay. white, colored, and Indian. All of us. Mm-hmm. Even the white people. Yes. You know why they're victims? Because they suffer from a mental disease. Called entitlement. Mm. Oh, this country is going to the dogs. They can, you can hear Auntie Maggie saying it. Then, oh, look at this. It was oh, the good old days. And then you think to yourself, woman, this country was always shitty for the rest of us. It was. You just had the cream. Mm. And you're so entitled to the cream. You feel so entitled to the cream and everything else is wrong. Mm. You know, I, I will never forget the first day. 1993, my ID now, yeah. They took the white signs, the whites only signs off just, just before that. Mm-hmm. And I'm standing in the queue and I've got like two or three, mostly black people. Yeah. A handful of colors coming for our IDs, right? And I hear these two whiteys at the back. The service in here is just pathetic. And, then, and I'm like, I turn around. I'm a so young lady. Yeah. I turn around and I say, you know what? There used to be a whites only sign right there. All you have to do now no? is experience what the rest of us have all, uh, always known. Yeah. And they went red. Mm-hmm. And and I tell you now, 80% of white South Africa mm-hmm. in the head yeah. want the whites only signs up first. Yes. They want it back. There's a, there's a couple of Facebook pages that I follow that uh, speaks about the, oh, the, the, the old South Africa. And these people are very much like, we can, can't, can't we go back to the old South Africa where the trains were still working? Yes, the, we must, the, the ANC messed up. They, they broke many, no, they many things. Burnt. They didn't break, they burned. They burned it up. But the thing is, Fadio, we can't go back. I remember driving with my father, and I mean, I wasn't that much into apartheid when I was born. I was, I'm 45 now. I had a glimpse of it. There's one guy called my father. Yeah, what not? You can't hear any. And my father was 
So, di ba? <laughs> Because they were, they were actually conditioned to say sorry. And that for me was always a problem, you know. And I don't have to justify it, but I think some of those people are still like that. They don't tell you it, but you can see. I still believe it. Like in any race, there is racist people, man. But do you feel that, you know, we can only fix South Africa if we reconcile, if they give back what was taken from us? Like you said, your mother didn't come from Constantia. Constitutionally. You're not allowed to be in, posi in, in position of stolen property. Mm. It's illegal. Yes. But they have our land. Constitutionally, mm. you're not allowed to be in position of stolen property, but they have our mines. Mm. <laughs> they have our fishing rights. Mm -hmm. What reconciliation are you people talking? I, I, I'm not going to buy into that crap. Mm. How can I reconcile while you have your foot on my neck and I can't breathe? How do we reconcile when you refuse to apologize and admit what you did was wrong? I've not met a white person who's benefited from apartheid. Not one. <laughs> and some of them live in Bishop's Court. No? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Look at the, 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 the propagator in chief mm. of all that is white. John Stianism. Plus if that bra had been colored, mm. he'd be selling potatoes on the town center now mm. in terms of ability and qualification. Mm. But he's white and he's probably going to be our next president. I mean, seriously, man. How do you reconcile that? When, when we have brilliant graduates, mm. honest students, PhDs out of work, mm. and white matriculants get the best jobs all the time. You want to reconcile with that? I don't want to. But that's, that's, only, that's not only in politics. Eh? That's also in I'm the, talking about business. In the corporate world. No, put that. I'm an artist and I'm a tradesman. I'm one of the best. Uh -uh. I've never had a foreman who wasn't white. I've also never had a foreman who was more skilled than me. Mm. What do we want to reconcile you? With a notion that white is better? Mm. No, man. I'm not buying into this. I refuse to reconcile with these people. I've never shaken John Stianese's hand. I refuse to. Mm -mm. <laughs> never. Mm -mm. I refuse to. Mm -mm. Because you know what? Unlike those people that you mentioned earlier, mm. I don't subscribe to the notion of Pascal. Mm. Do, you, do you think like in, in politics that uh, I see it on Facebook a lot. We like to Call each other names, especially as Kalitz. Was Rup Maka Yeldag Namen? Was Rup Maka Yeldag Namen? And then, you know what? I see all the people who have my name. Yeah, Bambo was. Of his Swat Mani. Yeah, Bambo was. But for us, Kalitz, Yeldag Sindra, even, even, you know, I said to people the other day, I don't vote for, for like I did. But you must say, man, he has come somewhere. And you can't always fight the guy every day. There's people fighting you and this guy every day. So, 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 and it's our own people. 400 MPs in Parliament. Mm. They only discuss my salary. <laughs> the other 399 are volunteers. <laughs> I don't get it. Mm. Let me tell you what our problem is. As a people, mm. we've not let yet we've not learned to applaud Stanley mm. while we wait our turn. Yes, that's our problem. Mm -hmm. It's easier to pull Stanley down here mm. than to watch Stanley. Clear. He's going to scale that wall. Mm. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. no. Uh -uh. That's not in our culture. Mm. It's a sickness, man. But you must understand it's Oba's a sickness, but it's a girat, man. Yes, yes. You know, I think it was sexually transmitted, but yeah, it's just me. <laughs> so, 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 mm. you know, you know the theory of the slave, the slave at the gate. Mm. So, 15 of us were slaves. And with time, um, Master used to give everybody a small little something. It's a bit of a dope hat cup. You know how it goes. Yeah. And one slave, takes that dope money and he puts it on his mattress. And after five years of slaving, he's able to buy his freedom. Wow. And as he leaves the gate, the other 14 are standing by the, by the gate watching his brother go. He's going to live now. Because we haven't been living. Yes. They can't applaud him. Mm. That's our condition. Yes. And they had the same opportunity. Same opportunity. They could have done it. Same suffering. Mm. They chose not to. I'm not here, Stanley, because I'm excellent at anything. Mm. I'm here because I don't quit. I don't know how. Mm. Do you know how many people started this journey with us? Six years ago. Lots of people. I'm more so long. <laughs> Do you know how many of them jumped off? Mm. Do you know how many of them gave in to financial pressure? Mm. How many of them uh, tried to accept bribes here, there, and everywhere? How many of them tried to sell this thing that we were building to other political parties? 
not everybody is designed to bite it up. I mean, you knew my situation at one stage. Yeah. I literally didn't know what I was feeding my kids tonight. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, yes, Owen's offering you 10 but million to yes, join, yes. 5 million to join, yes. 20 million to close. Mm-hmm. We said no. Mm-hmm. Because we believe in what we're trying to build. In. Mm-hmm. You know, with this whole GNU, we were called to Joburg to meet with the ANC like every other party. Mm-hmm. I got there, all the parties were sitting in the lounge. Mm-hmm. Oh no, my brother. I'm watching his Owens. Kiki, <laughs> you can just see these Owens are trying on the ministerial jackets already. <laughs> and I sat down with Fakile mm-hmm. and I said to him, SG, mm-hmm. we are willing to work together as long as you don't bring the DA on board. Mm-hmm. Because these bastards have no interest in nation building. Mm-hmm. The only nation that they're interested in building is the white one. Mm-hmm. We refuse to work with us. And that was our stance. And that remains our stance. We will work with anyone but the DA. Yeah. You know, given a choice, we wouldn't work with the ANC either. But if you look on paper, what's wrong with the ANC's policies? Absolutely nothing. They, they never implemented it. Properly. There we go. They choose to steal and implement. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. But if you have a couple of watchdogs around them, mm-hmm. yeah, they the, have to. Uh, uh, that's what they need to hear. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And now we're getting shot at mm-hmm. because we refuse to work with the DA. Mm-hmm. But the same colors that didn't vote for us mm-hmm. because we don't. Plus, <laughs> you know who runs the GNU? The DA does. Yellen. You know what? Enough of my people have taken instruction from my people. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be one of them. Mm-hmm. I just want to clarify this. You are not racist by any means. No, no, you are not racist. It's just that you are against for Crampton. I'm not colorblind. Yeah. I'm not racist. I'm a former ANC supporter. Mm. Why did I support the ANC? Because I subscribe to the notion notion of non-racialism mm. and equality. I believe in the universal brotherhood of men. Mm. Don't ask me to work with people who don't. Like, boss, who wants to scrap a minimum wage? If you're earning minimum wage right now, if your payday is on the 30th, yeah. I guarantee you that you don't have food in your cupboard tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Alan Zeller, John Stianazen, Tony Lee on them are saying, no, that's not enough. Make them earn less. Yeah. Who deals with that kind of mindset? Ask Alan Zeller to let her IT go do an EPWP work, um, job for that type of slave wages. Mm-hmm. She's not going to allow it. Never. But she expects my IT and your IT to. Because you know why? Mm-hmm. That's what the good Lord has designed them for. Yeah. Now you know what? Alan Zeller must hurry up and die. Because <laughs> we don't need that anymore. <laughs> How old is he now? How old is the devil? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is this. There was a time when people looked up to her. So I don't know if that was role play. We see came to the Cape Flats. What did you say, role play? No, for, for, for no, play. I'm thinking it's a role play. Role role play. No, 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 no. I said role play. Fine. I don't know I can't get Alan a lot. Imagine, imagine, imagine. No, stop it. The thing is this. Um, like, see in Patricia, the... Um, Patricia van, um, Patricia de Lo, mm-hmm. they used to come to the Cape Flats and they used to go onto the radio and they, would, they used to ask you what is wrong in the community. They used to work. There was a time when we thought, no, this is the savior of, of Cape Flats. Yeah, the premier and mayor show. I remember yes, that. Yes, yes, I remember yes, that in yes, Good yes. him. I do. And then they started fighting with each other. <laughs> they started fighting with each other because Patricia de Lo, for all the compromises yeah. that she did make, tried to stand up for us. Yeah. But she was in the wrong party. Yes. Now, you should get Patricia on the show one night and ask her what she thinks about it. I should actually. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. You it. must understand something. I don't care what Gaten says. Mm. I don't care what Gaten says. Mm. In terms of colored resistance, mm. Patricia De Lola is the OG. Mm. Not Fadio Adams. Mm-hmm. Not Gaten McKenzie. It's, it's Auntie Pat. Yes. She was a, Auntie Pat is the reason that I sit here. Yeah. Because Auntie Pat showed me after 1994 that it's okay to speak back to white people. It's <laughs> <laughs> True. So, you know what? For, she, she's made many mistakes. Yeah. But there's a reason I never criticize her. Because I'm not without it also. I make mistakes. Mm. I'm going to make big mistakes. Some idiot who knows nothing is going to throw stones at me one day. He's going to get moved, but he's going to throw stones at me one day. <laughs> uh-huh. you know, so so, so, so we, we must be very careful how we address the issue of 
Patricia yeah. Delors. Yeah. Because ultimately, if you were looking for a Khaled with a voice mm. 20 years ago, yes. that was her. It was her. She had the nickname Vix. Vix was a nickname. And, and she comes very far. She, she didn't just start in politics. She used to work in a workshop. In but that that yeah. Yeah. And, and that is where she worked her way up. She first started with representing the people. And then she worked her way up into politics. So she's come, up, she's come a far, a long road. But the thing is this, is also, she's getting old. I mean, there's only so much you can do at that age. First of all, I'm not going to live that long. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> if by some miracle I do, you're not going to find me in parliament. <laughs> so I, I also admire uh, longevity. Yes, yes. I, 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 like, how old is she? Probably around 80, 70 or 78? I think she can, be, she can go towards 70 now. So to start, no, she's older than that. But, but but to still have that energy to get up in the morning and yeah. sit in these hour-long meetings and listen to people repeat the same thing all mm. day long. Nah, it takes some doing, so yeah. yeah. But okay, the show's about me. Let's not talk about Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to ask you is, um, I see there's quite a few things coming through here. Are you enjoy, enjoying what you're doing? Not going to Parliament, but enjoy going into the Cape Flats, working with the people. I know you, you guys are preparing now for a by-election currently in I mean, Manon, but maybe we can see how we can get all the parties on, on, on board. Manon, but I saw videos. I don't think the Lord knows about that place anymore. <laughs> I saw some videos that was horrific and how the conditions that the people are living. My brother, let me tell you something. There are people on social media trying to paint us out as a bunch of moaners <laughs> because we highlight the things that are happening. Mm -hmm. And then there's people like us. Some of them even live in the same conditions. Kijk hoe mooi maak je die is gewoon. Flip, it's a by-election. Ja, come on. Het is nog lekker te achter, wees storms of You got dirt laying there, it's as old as man. But I saw a post this morning of the mayor. <laughs> he was visiting an old woman who was a seamstress. And so he went to his car to go fix it. His torn pants for her to go fix it. He just... I mean, I can have a stick in a broek in the rond to go around in the But anyway, you know, at, at man is very important right now. The people of Manenberg are going to be, they are going to be looked after over the next few weeks, I can tell you that. But, but, mm -mm. Manenberg once had a hospital called GF Juster. Yes, I remember. The Democratic Alliance closed it. Yeah. They closed the hospital. Mm -mm. Then, Manenberg was supposed to get a school of skills three years ago. Mm -mm. Then the DA tried to smoke all that and give that tender to a white company, even though a colored girl, mm -mm. female, yeah. was three million rand cheaper. Mm -mm. That colored girl took the DA to court. Mm -mm. They stole that thing. My brother court ordered them mm -mm. two years ago to go revisit their decision. Mm -mm. They stole it until this year. This year they couldn't anymore because we were pressurizing them yeah. from inside. Yeah. So now the colored girls got the contract and the school's going to well be built. Done. But ultimately, and this is not just Man and Bird, this is Bond people, this is Lavendale, this is Retreat, mm. this is Atlantis. They got nothing to do with the DA, as Osi Baklera for you. Just get this into your head. Mm -mm. If you live in Man and Bird, you're probably 16 to 18 people in the house. 12. At, if you if you got 12, you're doing well. Yeah. My your fellas with How many times a week they collecting in Constantia with two, three people living us? Yeah. Twice, three times. Then say I sell a stupid good any man in Berg for Yella. Yella Mutiella fellas dumpy. What must they do me your fellas? Oh yeah. free. Yeah. Because ek verstaan. Yeah. And in the kin also means Os Har good to post by a good. This is a sedab siva means a nice. As I mean seven dark most of eat of each doing. My brother, we have five people that live in my house. Mm -hmm. My rabo, um, my refuse gets collected on a Monday. Mm -hmm. I can tell you now, Friday, Saturday, chock and block. There's, mm -hmm. there's space for nothing in that bin. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're 15 people in the house, do the maths. Mm -hmm. Now, the harder we're fighting for better services, the more the DA refuses. Mm -hmm. Let me put you in the picture. Donovan Nielsen made a TikTok video now accusing the NCC of lying, lying, lying. Says that we never locked the C3 to have the staircases fixed. Lich, my oma had said, Lich, I can't see how Donovan Nelson, your oma, you're going to move your I'll tell you why. That specific counselor, Dai Obos, is copied in on an email I sent to the city manager where I told the city manager the staircase money has been stolen. These are the people that stole the money. These are the officials involved in it. And listen to me carefully, he's copied in because his area is one of the worst affected areas. That little lighty didn't even respond to the email. He's talking about logging a C3. Mm. Who's laid the criminal charges? Mm. Who's fought to the city manager? Mm -mm. NCC. He's talking about logging a C3. Now, this is what's going on when you're in the middle of 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 the middle of
You must understand 80 85% of these DA councillors of colour. Mm. They'd be working at McDonald's if they weren't councillors. And, and do, you, do you feel that also makes because many more people are going for that post now? Because of that post, many of our colour people in that communities, in let's say Manimba, wherever, want to get this job because this is not the only thing to a job. Some of them are unemployed. Do you think this would be a more more difficult process to no. get them employed? No. Because it's a market moeilijk, makkelijk for mensen met the here a certificate. Or what? Ook al mensen wat die, daar po wat die man. Can I tell you something? I'll give you a counselor. Mm-hmm. Anastasia Davids from Atlantis. Mm. One of our best. One of our best. One of the best. Mm. She's a beautician. Mm. But she's always been a community activist. Mm. And we could see this and we identified this and we decided to grow this. Brilliant. You got people holding degrees, some of them, in council. Mm. That's it. It's, it's, it's a hit and miss thing. Um, look at me. I'm the most effective councillor that the city of Cape Town has mm. seen. But I don't have metric. Mm. So you would say it's the passion that you have for the That's people. the drive you have. It's the, the, that desire to see a change in your community. Mm. It doesn't ask for a degree. Mm. You know, then you also got totally worse. So you, okay, I, my brother, you want me to call, call him out? I'm happy to mention names here. Yeah. Ask who. Last and time I you got me in trouble. The last time they were like this. So you got me so into so much trouble by speaking. I was actually told you're going to have me on next week. What's this? Is it JP? I can hear JP. I don't want to talk about JP. I, I, I'll just, I'm just going to sit back and watch the JP show next month. That's all. But we don't want to talk about that tonight. We're going to watch the JP show mm-hmm. next month. Opia, yes, yes, my bro. I don't want to be you. Like, when I think my life is sad, no? mm-hmm. I say to myself, in November, you could have been JP Smith. Mm-hmm. And then everything looks perfect. Anyway, let's keep moving. Let's just get away from the topic quickly, just to, just to calm the people down. I met you in a pet shop, right? It's like my wonder was for cooking mm-hmm. and, and tea warmers. I come out of the winkel. I told you about your family. Yeah, as a borough fan, I was at the pet shop. I had support to make it about 16 to 12 hours. I could have. So I go to the pet shop and um, I go and I see this guy standing there selling dog food and tea warmers. And I'm um, like, I can give you a crane, give you a key. And, okay, it's fine. And that's where I met you. You you were in business before you became a politician. There was ways to make money. The shop, I don't know what happened to the shop because after I saw Father on TV, I said, no, Father, I'm going to go for us. But tell us about your love for dogs. Never mention that. You know, Stan, I, 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 I grew up with my grandmother mm-hmm. and, and I used to speak perfect English. So, when we moved to where we moved, I couldn't speak Afrikaans, and so I got moody every day because I couldn't speak Afrikaans. <laughs> so I, I found it hard to make friends, man. Mm-hmm. And um, I had this little crossbreed, uh, Staffy. Mm-hmm. And that was my only friend mm-hmm. for four years. And uh, I tell you now, if you want a friend, get a dog. Exactly. Take it. Don't worry about brats to get a dog. Yeah, so, yeah. my love for dogs is never going to go away. Yeah. I, I've, I've worked for animal welfare. Mm. Um, I've rescued dogs. I've yeah. owned dogs. Mm. Um, I have four dogs right now. Mm. I have I have an overweight burbu called <laughs> Zina. She's like seven years old. She's fat. You know. uh-uh. um, I can't help it. I, I spoil her. Uh-uh. Then I have like a stunning, stunning burbu um, called Hope, uh, who was an abused dog. Okay. Uh, who was bred by a friend of mine called Eugene Wendell from um, Mauriceburg. So I drove to Mauriceburg to fetch that dog. Yeah. She was skin and bones. Uh, we, but she, you must see her now. You yeah. must see her now. Overweight. No, no, no. She's exactly where she needs. She doesn't get spoiled. <laughs> then I have uh, a dash on. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, who doesn't like me, but she loves my lighties. But okay. she, she's not a fan of like she'll come if I call her. But it's a twist and man. Uh-uh. Um, and then I have my biggest mistake. Um, I've got a bull here. Okay. Um, my biggest mistake. I tell you why. Mm-hmm. So my father used to breed bull terriers. He okay. loved bull terriers. Okay. So, so now I'm now 50 years old. So I'm starting to look like my daddy. So I'm going to get me a bull terrier. My bro, I go get a bull terrier with OCD. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I kid you not. Mm-hmm. I take it to the vet. The vet sends me to an animal behaviorist. The dog is <laughs> diagnosed with OCD. Have you, you know, you know, energetic, I put bull bull terriers. Yes, they are energetic yes, And I put, give him OCD. Mm-hmm. Yes. So this dog don't stand. <laughs> I've never seen this dog sleep. 
<laughs> so, so I, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, but um, given a choice, mm. put me in a, on a plot with 30 dogs mm. rather than yeah. 10 brass. Mm. I'm happier there. Mm. You know exactly what you're going to get. Mm. So, yeah, that's... That's the part that we didn't know about you. And not, I knew that about you, but they didn't know that, that about you. Your family. Was it not a part of the politics? Was it not a part of the war you? Your family, your tenants, how do they accept this new role that you got to go as a member of parliament? They, they now need to call me Honorable Father. <laughs> Honorable Daddy. Honorable Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> My life is not even fussed by this moment. It's like they, they just, nothing's changed. Let me yeah. put it to you like that. Yeah. They don't get anything more than they used to get. They don't get anything less than they used okay. to get. No, nothing has changed. They're still in the same schools, still live in the same house, yeah. still wear the same clothes. Mm. On our side, nothing has changed. Mm. Um, they see a lot less of me, of me now than, 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 than they used to. Um, mm. Like tonight. Mm. Uh, I'm going to get home, they'll be asleep. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, I'll be gone, they'll be asleep. So mm. uh, it, it's, it's it's a strain. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, it's, it's no fun. It's no fun because we travel a lot, we move around a lot, and mm. yeah, it's one of those things we deal with. But I think it's at the end of the day, I think you, you, people must also see that politicians, especially those working, you do spend a lot of time away from your family. And it's time that you won't make up. You child will see you, I think they probably call you honorable uncle. <laughs> Honorable but, Fadil now. Fadil, Fadil. <laughs> but, but the thing is, this, it's, it is still, it's that pressure that you need to apply also to the opposition parties. Because this is my next question. Inequality is still very much alive. And how do we get people to see that we're not being treated equally? We've I'm, never been treated equally. Oscar also Lanka Swaz, we did it here. So our is a normal thing. It's, it's, it's naturalized. Our people don't understand that they are entitled to better. Mm. That, 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 that God himself has decreed that we should all be equal. Mm. And they, 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 they just... <sighs> They're captives in this situation. Mm. Like, stand up against looting mm. and theft mm. by white people. Colored people will attack you. Mm. Stand up against looting, theft by Indians and blacks. Mm. Oh no, colored people are going to love you. You know... The line should be drawn that we should stand up against looting until full stop. Yes. Because it doesn't matter who's stealing it. They're stealing it from somebody. Mm. And, and this is what our people have to grasp. Sadly, if you live in the Western Cape, mm. the people that are being targeted are colored people. Mm. They're stealing from us. Mm. They're denying us. They're screwing us over. Mm. Big time. And, and the other thing is this, this, this that I want to mention. You spoke about Kaiten the other day. And... Gaten, I think he just went over 800,000 that he spent on his flights. But like we spoke earlier on, the story was quiet about Alan Windy that spent 1.6. And Alan Windy didn't go broad, you know. I mean, if you go to the Olympics, you can think for yourself. It's, if it's the Olympics, you're going to pay much more money. Paying so, in euros, bro. You, you, yeah. And the thing is this, it's that time, it's that season. So going to where he went, and where Gaten went, is to different places. But the one spins 800,000, the other one 1.6. But nobody's talking about the other one. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. And worse than that, worse than that, look, Kaiten's like me. You're not the smartest girl in the world. I'm getting it. Someone's going to walk up to Fadil and Kaiten and say, look, you need to go to France. I'm going to say, how long? Yeah. How many days? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. And I'll come back and, oh my word, look at this. <laughs> you know, is that what the hotel costs? Yeah. Because you can't expect the minister to sleep on the street. Mm. But, but, mm -hmm. while you're moaning, the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture has said, there, there's an itemized breakdown of what it cost. Alan Wind has refused to disclose mm. what the 1.6 million rand was for. Mm. But you don't see the media attacking him. Mm. Then your mayor, our fraud and he'll lift back Lewis. And you cry like this. Goes to Antarctica. Mm. He takes an alderman with him. Mm. One million rand plus in an article. Probably went to go check out the shopping malls. I saw that it was last year. Plus two white lighties mm -hmm. got something off their bucket list mm. on your expense. The media don't make a thing about it. The media don't make a thing about it. But you know what? As a colored man in a ministry, going to support your national team, nice no, issue. Mm. 
Wat moet, wat maak ze? Wat moet, hoeveel is hij van dier? Nee, man. En, en we support this narrative also by, oh, wat ik heb nou weer gemaakt. I'm not saying the guy is right in everything, but I'm just saying is that, if we can apply pleasure, a pleasure to a gaiten, or to a fadil, or to whatever color politician, we need to apply pleasure to all other politicians. But let me tell you something. I don't agree with Gaten and everything. Mm. Ah, it is stance on Israel. Mm. Ah, it did. I'll say it is face. I think I might have. Mm. But on this issue, on the principle of this issue, mm. because if they can do it to him, mm. they'll certainly do it to me. Mm. I mentioned earlier that I like equality. Treat us equal. If you're going to screw Gaten over that, uh, move him over the trip, by all mm. means. Yeah. But then give Jordan his chance and give Alan Wynn his chance as well. Because they get free passes because they're white. Mm. Because Naspers and the Burger and the TV stations are controlled by white monopoly capital. Mm. Something they'll tell you doesn't exist, by the way. Mm. I've noticed that. They will always tell you that doesn't exist. But who started the economy? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Cool, I think you're done with you. The apartheid state, mm. they built a country on nationalization. Yeah. They built a, listen to me carefully, a country on nationalization. ESCOM. Prasa, mm. Spornit, Danel, mm. SAA, mm. everything was nationalized. And who benefited from nationalization? White people. Mm. When it became our turn to benefit from the fruits of nationalization, what were the white people singing? Privatization is the way of the future. Mm. Yes. Are you hearing what they're saying? They're saying, if you would not, mm. you will not benefit from the fruits of this land. Mm. It's ours. It's ours. But then God gave it to us. At the, the Battle of Blood River, mm -hmm. where we shot Zulu people dead. Wow. And the only reason we won was because we had guns. Yeah. But God gave us the guns. Yes. Some, some, like that. But the Zulu people was, were actually the way before they were here. If you go into, into history, they actually stand people's lives. Stand. Call it like you're for the army. The original owners of South Africa are the Koi mm. and the Sun. Mm. Now, when the Dutch came here, mm. they killed our people. They exterminated them. Yes. Then the English got wind of this tip of Africa mm. where you could make millions. Mm. Then they went to war with the Dutch. Mm. At the end of this war, the English compensated the Dutch mm. for the loss of their land. Then the Boer, uh, the Afrikaner as they call themselves, uh, Eurokaner if you ask me, but uh, Afrikaner if you listen to them, they went to war with the English uh, over this land that belongs to the Khoi and the Sun. At the end of that war, uh, the English paid the Boers con compensation for their losses yeah. in the land of the Khoi and the Sun. Yeah. You know who's never been compensated for the cuck that happened in South Africa? The Khoi and the Sun. And now the Khoi and the Sun is taking land back. Um, I don't know if you heard about the story in Stramfontein. Ik ga mijn bek hou. Mario, hou je vriende, hou je bek. Mama, daar gaan we het gezien. Hou net jou bek. Pas, ik ga maar tellen je joke. Je wil een joke? Vertel me de joke. De koe in de sun lobby. Dat is de hele joke. De koe in de sun lobby. De Nguni Nation. 50 miljoen mensen. 5 Paramount Kings. Accountable to five people. Mm. The Koi and the Sun. Mm. On a good day, mm. 10,000 people who identify as Koi Sun. Mm. 10,000 leaders. Mm. Everybody's a chief. There is something that I should know. My brother, you wake up in the morning, there is one village in your gut, and it is a paramount Koi in the day. And that is why it's a joke. Mm. And that is why every royal house in this country is recognized except our people. Because we have jokes mm. leading us. Mm. There's a bloodline chief. In Parliament right now, a man I have so much respect for. Mm. Glenn Tybos. Boss, give four or five people of that caliber, right? Mm. Give them the leadership and things change. Mm. But now you got all these mini-me's jumping up and down. My bro, where, where do we go? Yeah. Who, does, who does government negotiate with? Hey? Mm. We want to legitimize the Koi in the sun. Let's say Ramaphosa is brave enough to make that statement one day, which he never will. Mm. 50,000 chiefs declare himself. Who does he talk to? Yes. Who does he give the stipend to? Yes. Who does he give the land to? Yes. Hey? You woke up this morning and said, God made you a chief. 
I'm not talking to you, green fig, green fig, but you can take it seriously if you want to. Take it personally if you like. Um, uh, it, 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 it's a bloody joke. We are trying to get our heritage recognized. You know, trying for government to understand the damage has been done to our people. And you got these jokes jumping up and down here. No, man. Uh, and, there's, and there's everywhere, in every place there, there's a, there's like a little um, tribe. I mean, to a level, let's say, Hello, we're going to be in the Okay, now, where is it? Now, that's from Beacon Valley. So, oh, okay. And, and then I did, I did a, bit, a bit of history. And it's true what you're saying. Every event that there is a Quay meeting, you see quite a few chiefs. No followers. No yeah, soldiers. no, no, no. No soldiers. Too no, many issues. Yes, yes. Quite a few chiefs. And the others are with the thing that you want to see. I guess from the eyes, I guess from the eyes. And I think, like, like, like you said, I think we need to maybe trace the limits from where is it? Because I'm going to say this to I'm not from the Kwe. I believe I'm from the slaves. The slaves is where I come from. Now I can look at you and see. <laughs> so Here's your problem. What? On those slave ships, hmm. there were no women. Hmm. We are all Kwe. Yeah. Like it, not. Flarara, Krusara, Skepnis, Platnis. You have to accept this. Yeah. But, but, <sighs> have you ever met in Zili a Kwe son? You're from Cape Town, no? Yeah. 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 <laughs> My bro. One of the three or four most brilliant minds I've ever met. Mm. Let a man like that speak for us. Mm. Now you got this stupid here from men and I'm like, dear Lord, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to just um, tune a bit down. We're going to play a game quickly. <laughs> okay, go <'cause Slim's> slow. <laughs> and then I'm going to, then you must explain to me what it is that, that you see. How much here. time do I have? You've got seven minutes left. Where are we? Try shouting close enough. Okay, too. The Lego Batman movie. Mm. <laughs> How old am I? Bat Batman. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Pumpkin. Uh, okay. Pumpkin. Uh, scary clothes. Trick or treat. Um, the Dungasa, the Joker. Where are we now? We had Halloween. The Joker or none do Halloween? Okay, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I just did pumpkins, <laughs> scary stuff, trick or treat. England. Yeah. Uh, oppression, colonization, <laughs> land theft, Nemo. Uh, fish, uh, weak fun. Jaws. No, you're supposed to tell that. A uh, hairbrush. Uh, okay. Something that you use for things that I don't have. A fortune cookie, something that you break open. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah I got that also. Spaz, Spanish pub quiz. Squid Pack. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> Patrick, and Squidward. <laughs> I live under the sea. Yeah. By living a pineapple. You're supposed, you're supposed to. Explain to me. What's the game for kids? I'm supposed to. I'm saying it and you know, you're <laughs> Nobody can even explain it. Come, hey, do it again. Let's do it again. Come, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Come. So, it, no, no, there's only three seconds left. Yeah. That was Time stupid. Time's up. <laughs> let's have another round. Come. Um, so, there we go. Okay. Okay. Don't make me look stupid. This is the O oh, that stole from the reaching gates of the poor. Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. uh, this is about that poor lady that goes to that place where they make the sweets with Willy Wonka. Um, yeah, what does I love you have any Willy He wins that bar, man. Yes, yes, man. What is his name, man? Chocolate, chocolate something. It's Choc like, you know, they wear Patricia's to work with the yeah. middle clothes? Uh-huh. Factory. <laughs> Factory. Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Uh, this is a place where Tupac left. Uh, California. Yay! You see that? <laughs> uh, you will burn if you stick your hand in it. Fire. Yeah, Alan's a little you also. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, it's okay. where we live, it's round. 70% water. Um, earth, okay. It's a place I don't see much of you, but you're supposed to sleep and make babies in. A bit. Almost. Mm -hmm. room. Time's up. I don't do, I don't yeah. do. Good. Well done, well done. Well done, well done. Okay, okay, okay. It's my turn. Yes, you, you make me look stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Three, two, one. Must have be that way. Yeah. Okay. But there's a... As I'm going to put it in my race for one now, and there's a thing that I see it go. But in Engels. Peter Marie is a voornaam. Ja, maar de eerste paar woorden, man. It's like a, it's like a ding, want you see it, go naar achter. And then, come on, like, um, Peter Marie, the eerste 
Ja sa taká mama iba mama. Ešte myslíte na gym? OK. OK. Um, also person do what? As in the big five. Arano. Ah. An elephant. Secret in the pocket section. Secret in the pocket. As if the elephant itself might as if we... A book. Post. Post. Okay. Yo, terrible. <laughs> okay, as dia the dan op 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 pakket chips. Okay. Hey, raw. Okay. Ik ga maar raw en deze is like a wat is dat parade van? Koning. Ja. The Lion King. Ja. Time's up. Time's up. You are going to watch it. Sorry, I'm a sub terrible game. People, <laughs> that was all stands for I'm a lot more intelligent than that. Fario <laughs> <laughs> Brother, thank you so much. Always nice having you. You actually disappointed us a couple of weeks back, but you made up to be here. If it makes you feel any better, Patty, um, Stan, you won't be the last person that disappointed us. <laughs> <laughs> any wise words for people? Um, I mean, you, you spoke about your life briefly, uh, where you come from, what you've been through. And there's like many of our young people that are out of school, that can't get a job. Some of them didn't even go to school. You know the dropout rate is higher on the Cape Flats. You made it so far. And you're still going to go places. I believe it. Do you feel, what do you want to tell that young person? You know, I was having one of my moments now the other day. I said to my kids, I said to my kids, every father wants to see his life is do better. Mm-mm. Every one of us. I don't know how you're going to top what I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, you know, 160,000 matriculants started writing yesterday. Mm. Most of them have, 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 yeah, they've made it. Mm. Um, we wish them the best. I can tell you, Stan, I work in these areas. Mm. They go from, some of them go from bad houses, the bad schools, the bad classrooms, and they must go back again. You know, some, some of them have to face bullets, mm. people trying to sell drugs. So some of them come from abusive houses, and here they are in the trick. And, and those are the heroes today, man. Mm. It becomes my job and your job and people like ours. It becomes our job to ensure that there's something for them after matric, man. That varsity is, 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 is it's there if you need it, if you want it, man. Mm. Not if you can afford it. Yes. Um, that a job will be there even if you're from Lavendale, man. Mm. That people are not going to look at you and say, nah, not this one. These are the people that we want to talk to, man. Mm. Um, but yeah, look, I can tell you this. I went from Polsmo to Parliament. I am proof that the correctional services, <laughs> that the system does work. <laughs> it does work. No, nah, it doesn't work. It's, it's broken. It's broken and they give it to a right wing out to fix it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But um, nah, there's no wise words for me because I'm not a wise man. Mm-hmm. What I can tell you, what I can tell you, is you don't quit until the final whistle. Mm-hmm. You know, you keep knocking. I mean, we've been out. We've been down. We've been out. We've been, we shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. We didn't quit. We keep going. That's what you do. Um, fixing this country, I don't think it happens in my lifetime. Mm. Maybe in the next lifetime. <sighs> we have to ensure that we have the proper people mm. to finish the job that we're starting in. Mm. That's the full stop. Mm. And that's my outlook. Fadil, thank you so much, brother. It was nice having you here. And uh, all the best. And um, I will not even say, Fadil, I can play as so cool, say, so no, I'll be woods. Cool, let it go. I don't know what's with the. On Saturday, we shop, we always shop, we still shop at shop, right? Mm-hmm. I go to spa, because it's right opposite my house, virtually. We have to go to the house, we have to go to the spa, but we still shop at, 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 at shop, right? Um, mm-hmm. Because it's cheaper. Now, that type of idiot right there, mm-hmm. that's what's wrong with us. Mm-hmm. You don't know jack shit about me, mm-hmm. but you're making broad comments. Yes. Um, you don't know what I do with my parliamentary salary. You don't know how many people I help. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, something I don't talk about, let me talk about it because I got a room full of witnesses. Mm-hmm. You know that <coughs> lady that they shot in Hanover Park? Mm-hmm. I paid for his funeral, I didn't even know it. Mm-hmm. You know that two brothers they shot in Lavendale? Mm-hmm. I paid for the, those two, those 13 and 14 year old ladies. Mm-hmm. I paid for the buses and I didn't even know them. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the tip of the iceberg and then you got some dumb fuck like this here mm-hmm. uh, who needs to comment. Yeah. Um, like, like, no, nah, I need to say it. Yes, no, but, like, but, but like, I also want to tell you this. I want to tell you this as a brother. You can stop me if you want to stop. No, I can't. Can no, 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 I let me tell you why. No, let me tell you why. 
I stand for a certain people. Mm. Let me be amongst those people. Mm. I can go live in any area in the country, bar bishop school. Yeah. Where do I live? Mitchell's Plain. Mitchell's Plain. Where do you find me? Mm. I walk to the stall mm. I still buy my potatoes mm. at the store right opposite Westgate Mall mm. because I want to support the local mm. owner. And then you got this type of clown, mm. your mom, your freak, <laughs> you know. so I don't see this, yeah, people will say stuff. No, it's like, you know, like, you know what, yeah. Stan, if you're going to say something mm. about me that's negative, I'm going to look at it and I'm going to take it and I'm going to say, you know what, Stan, I might be onto something. Yeah. But you know what, Somebody because I need to say something, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Uh, this uh, Fadil Bright I don't like, mm-hmm. don't know, yeah. has done what he said he's going to do. Mm-hmm. I need to be negative about it. Yeah. You're crabbing a fucking bucket, man. <laughs> Like really, yeah. but let's uh, let's uh, end this on a high note. All the best, in, um, and I wasn't losing my cool. I was making hard, but uh, <laughs> you know, for me to lose my cool, you need yeah. to mean something. I don't know you. I want to ask you something quickly before we leave the um, thing. Is where do you see, and for those people listening, because there's people that want to vote still for you, where do you see the the, the NCC moving in the next five, next two years, next five years time? The NCC is going to be, the NCC is going to be in coalition in various municipalities, mm. making changes for the people that we said we were going to fight for. And that's national wide. Uh, it's going to be big time Western Cape, mm. smaller scale Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, smaller scale Johannesburg. But let me put it to you like this: the NCC is a baby. Mm. Go and ask. The parties with money, <laughs> how hard it is to get to where we are. Yeah. Go and ask the politicians with 30 years experience mm. how hard it is to get where we are if you don't. And, and, and again, mm. we were the least funded party. Mm. Now we have a little bit of money. Mm. Oh, they got a problem. Mm. No, they got a problem. Mm. But uh, if we are in coalition anyway, colored people will benefit. Mm. That's the only promise I make. I don't make out of the promises. Um, I see this party evolving. Eventually, we will open up this party wide mm. for everyone. Mm. It's not that it's closed at the moment, yeah. it's, but 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 right now, mm. right now, we can't be at a negotiating ta- table as equals. Colored people can't because we're not equal. Yeah. Because right now, you know, you know, when when a dog has a litter of puppies, call it six or seven, it's always a small one. Yes. That's us right now. Mm. Now we need to be at the same size. Mm. And and that's the plan. Yeah. That's the long term plan. And that is where equality will take place. Hopefully in my lifetime. Hopefully I get to see it. Mm. Fadil, thank you so much. And all the best. And always a pleasure. No? Always a pleasure. <laughs> Willie yeah. Elias, I know you're watching. Yeah, and, bef- <laughs> and before I say goodbye, so we started with Fadil many years ago, right? Started so, showing his videos when he used to fight with um with Dan Plato, the Plato then um Pagut. Over the staircases? Yeah, over the staircases. <laughs> and then over the years Father came into the studio and you know, that's how we grow together. And that is how we don't agree always with one another. I, I think no, it's, 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 you know, I swear to you. Yeah, but you know what? We have the same vision. Somewhere in what we do, we want to uplift our people. Stan, do you know what a pleasure it's been for me mm. to watch the growth of your platform? Mm. Like boss. I don't think your family is applauding as hard as I am. Mm. Because years, my bro, man, mm. it was, it was a miskini family, but yeah. my bro mm. is making something of himself. Mm. And he's doing something that I couldn't do in 10 lifetimes. Mm. I need to applaud that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Don't okay. let it go to your head now. If I don't know, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Underball Father Adams. Um, and yeah, we used to. I, I want to say one thing before mm-hmm. we go. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Take me on the No, I need to. <laughs> I need to. You know, we live in the most, we live in the seventh most dangerous city in the world, mm-hmm. most dangerous in Africa. Mm-hmm. Do you know what's happening in the city of Cape Town? What? In your safety and security department, mm. they are hounding and they are persecuting qualified people mm. on the basis of race. Mm. these handful of white boys that have been brought in from SAPS mm. to give the DA some type of influence within the investigations of things here mm. are getting rid of suitably qualified people mm. to bring in 
extra white boys. Mm. Tomorrow, I'm, I, I think you're going to be pissed off because I'm mentioning it. Deputy Chief Wenzel mm. goes into a DC mm. on trumped up charges. Mm. And colored people are sitting still and colored people are dying. Colored children are dying. Mm. The people with the expertise to slow down the madness on the Cape Flats. You mm. can't stop this overnight, no. but you can slow it down. Correct. Are being moved out. Mm. And it's white people doing it. So they're just maintaining the system it was already there. Plus, for these whites, these right-wing whites that run us, mm. we're not dying fast enough. Mm. So and now they got to get rid. They got to get rid of the suitably qualified people mm. that can actually make a difference. So we know what I mark. I can never find a way to be able to say it. Find it statement to make. Can I tell you something? <laughs> if that thing demands to be on the show, you know what you tell him. Mm. 